First question from Claire. Most memorable moment when playing for Wales? Uh, many years ago, we were classed as a B group international team. So to ever get to a finals competition, first of all, we'd have to qualify from the B group to an A group, which so it meant it would have taken us at least four years to get to a major competition. Um, but there was the one year that we actually won the B group and it was like we'd won the World Cup. <laughs> I'm not sure about the Cyprus one next year, but um, DJ is Tash, Natasha Hardin. I wouldn't say I'm on the same wavelength with regards to taste in music. If I'm honest, I can't understand a word they're saying. But the girls like it and they, they are performing well the first few minutes of game these days, so it's obviously working. Uh, this is from Jason Edwards, a coach. Uh, do you need an assistant? Let me know where to send my CV. Um, I'm sure, Jason, you're a fantastic coach and hopefully you'll have some success in the future. But right now I've probably got the best coach in the world working with our groups and uh, I'm very happy with that right now. Okay, that transition of player to coach, player to manager is an extreme one. I think if anybody is contemplating in short term, my advice would be have a really, really long, hard think about it. It's, it's a challenge, it's in many ways an enjoyable one, but it's, it's in many ways, um, it pushes you to the creams at times. Oh, this is an interesting one. Um, Fran Kirby, uh, how much did you love spending time with Fran Kirby? And are you still making the poor girls do 75 meter returns times 100? Question mark, question mark. Uh, Fran, yes, the girls run a lot, which you experienced in your time uh, with Reading. With young players, it's so important they enjoy what they do. If youngsters enjoy the environment that's being set in the training environment, they'll want to come back and they'll want to practice and they'll want to be the best in the world. So for me, it's all about enjoying and loving the game and, and that's actually what I did. Okay, Joe Price. <laughs> Where does Ludlow get her trainers from? <laughs> the Tin Man or Dorothy? <laughs> okay, this comes from my latest choice in uh, footwear, which I thought was actually quite retro, quite trendy, I guess. Um, but obviously somebody's disagreed. Just because I have good dress sense, Joe, stop being offended by it. Okay, so the song, and most people who know me very well would guess this before I say it, would be Islands in the Stream. And item, that's actually a tough one. I don't know, item-wise. My, my, mm, I'd probably take my little daughter. Okay, um, seeing our progress over the last couple of years has been fantastic. Uh, the group of players now we have within the senior environment, the group of players we have below that, I'd like to think not far off. Uh, we're showing we're competitive, we're showing we're becoming hard to beat. With regards to club environment, we had one year with Arsenal where we won the quadruple which involved the Champions League as it's known now and probably lifting that trophy is that was the best feeling ever because obviously it's something that not many people in their careers ever get an opportunity to do. Helen Ward, how many medals have you won in your career? <laughs> I actually don't know the answer to that. She won't believe that. Do you know what? There's so many opportunities now and over the next five to ten years that will be created within Wales, outside Wales, to be involved in the female game. I'd urge everybody to get involved and actually help us help the game grow.